What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna show you the power of an Oculink eGPU. This is a $30 adapter that I got from AliExpress that allows you to use traditional graphics cards meant for gaming PCs on laptops. Oculink is a high speed adapter used in the server industry with a higher bandwidth, allowing you to use more of your GPU's full potential compared to Thunderbolt and it's a fraction of the price. So I recently upgraded my laptop after only a couple of years because my old one, aka the one we are using in this video, dropped out of my book bag. I completely shattered the screen, making the touchscreen in the LCD randomly freak out from time to time, and I also completely ruined the hinge. The damaged hinge makes it very difficult for the laptop to stay open properly. It's a shame because the specs in this laptop are pretty decent, even by today's standards, having a Ryzen 7 5700U, which is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU. It also has 16 gigabytes of RAM. Before getting a new laptop though, I was using this thing plugged into an external monitor as basically a desktop PC. I wanted to see how far I could push this jerry-rigged desktop PC powered by a laptop, aka turn it into a gaming PC. Even though this laptop has decent specs, it's a pretty standard laptop. It's missing things like a Thunderbolt port. So those traditional Thunderbolt eGPUs are out of the question. I keep bringing up Thunderbolt eGPUs as they are really the market standard, sold by companies like Razer and Gigabyte. Oculink adapters, on the other hand, don't use Thunderbolt or even USB-C. They hook directly into your SSD's NVMe slot, which is more complicated than just plugging something into a port on the side of your laptop, but it provides a lot more speed. The next problem I faced with using an Oculink adapter on my old Ryzen laptop was that I only had one M.2 NVMe slot, which is obviously currently being used by my SSD. So if I plug the Oculink adapter into that NVMe slot, where am I going to plug this SSD into? This isn't a problem for everyone though who uses these Oculink adapters as many laptops on the market have multiple NVMe slots. But to get around this, my original idea was to use a high speed micro SD card, kind of like the Steam Deck does, as my laptop has an SD card slot right on the side. But after testing this, the speeds weren't very impressive. It wasn't much faster than your traditional USB thumb drive. Even though this would work, it would be very slow. Not wanting my SSD that I removed from the laptop to go to waste, I purchased a high speed USB to NVMe enclosure and that was definitely the right choice. This was almost two to three times faster than the high speed SD card. This whole process can be a little finicky though, as you no longer have an internal storage device, you have to install and run Windows in a certain way. We used a program called Rufus, which allows you to boot and more importantly, completely run Windows from an external device. There are a ton of videos here on YouTube going over this process in great detail. So if you're interested, check those out. I've heard many people state that running Windows from an external device can result in very slow speeds. Honestly, I didn't really feel this. Navigating around Windows was extremely snappy. Load times in games were increased a little, but realistically, I could hardly tell the difference. If I had to guess, I'd say loading a game from my external SSD only added about 10 to 15 seconds tops. As I wanted to keep this project as inexpensive as possible, as A, I didn't even know if this would work, and B, this would just be an extra quote unquote gaming PC for around the house. And I will say, this project, it was pretty inexpensive. I bought the Oculink adapter from AliExpress for only $30. I got the power supply on sale from Amazon for around $40. And the 3D printed mount that I used to hold it all together is probably about a dollar in plastic. Finally, the RX 580 that I used as the GPU was just an extra graphics card I had laying around the house that I've had for years. So if you at home want to replicate this DIY eGPU, it would run you around $70 to $80 minus the graphics card. If we include the cost of the graphics card, you can get the RX 580 that we used in this video for only about $60. Bucks. And speaking about that RX 580, while it is a dated card releasing almost six years ago, which is crazy because I remember buying this thing new and that feels like yesterday, this card still produces great results for a budget gaming setup like 
like this. I was able to play a ton of popular competitive titles like Apex and Fortnite at or above 100 FPS and even some of those newer AAA titles at 60 FPS on medium settings, 1080p. So the summary of this video is that Oculink adapters are pretty sweet. For such a low cost, you can turn your laptop, your Steam Deck, or anything with an M.2 slot into a potential gaming device. Even with those limiting factors, like only having one M.2 slot available, the possibilities with this tech are truly endless. Thanks for watching.